My name is Ahmed Masto. I came to Nebraska in uh, June 2016, so it's three years and a few months. Uh, basically, I came over here just because the EZD community are here. So, like, I have a couple friends, couple cousins over here, so just I want to be close to them. And they did help me for the f first couple weeks. Uh, because like you know it's everything is different from there so I just want to be close to them basically yeah I, I, I saw genocide and everything was bad I was in camp like uh, more than a year or almost two years uh, in camp in northern Iraq and uh, really the, the life was very bad just the whole family live in one tent and the tent is just a few feet long and width. No, yeah, me and my family in one tent, we were six people, four kids, me and my wife. We uh, used to live in one small tent and it was really bad. But uh, before that I was a translator with US Army, so that's why I still have a chance to get here. Mm -hmm. uh, so I applied over there. In, in northern Iraq, I applied there and I got my visa, SIB visa. Uh, I used to be an English teacher in Iraq. Mm. Uh, so for like seven years, I used to be an English teacher because I graduated from College of Arts, English department specifically. So whoever uh, graduated from that specific department, he can be, she or she, he or she can be a teacher. Uh, because uh, in Iraq is uh, English as a second language, mm -hmm. so I was one of the teacher English as a second language in high school. Well, we started in, in fifth grade, so uh, like my age was um, 11 years old. We started as very simple, like basic, like alphabet or numbers mm -hmm. or small uh, grammar, and then it developed with us. So basically, it's uh, 40 minutes every day. English as a second language in um, middle school, high school, and then after that I went to College of Arts English Department. Mm -hmm. So I, because I loved English, so that's why I chose the English. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. Cool. <laughs> so you like Shakespeare? Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah. August two thousand four. Okay. And I started a couple years, and I worked with like two years mm -hmm. and a uh, few months. And then I, I went back to my job uh, as a teacher. The, the, the kids, they, they liked the U.S. Army in Iraq, and they, they were very good because whenever the, they came to our area, especially Sinjar, it was a kind of safe area for U.S. Army, they give candies to, to to kids and the, 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 the kids love them. No, absolutely no. I have not, no idea about Lincoln at all or Nebraska. Even I didn't know it is in South or North or in the middle of US, but just because I have a friend and easy community, that's why I choose it to come over here directly. Mm -hmm. Even I didn't know anything about it. Yeah, I, I think I think they are really doing great job, and uh, uh, they study uh, LLE or mm -hmm. English as second language something. Mm -hmm. So th th they they teach them uh, that like uh, to improve that the, their English. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's I see it's very good in general. Lincoln Public School they are good. Well, yeah, uh, almost uh, same. But just the, the, everything in English. Over there it was everything in Arabic mm -hmm. um, and like uh, mathematics, uh, some, some subjects in Arabic. But over here they're almost the same, but in, an, in English, like different language. So that's why it's kind of confusing for the student, mm -hmm. I think. I was w working in Molex, so after a few months I got here. And uh, I went to Molex. I was working over there for part time. What What is that? Molex. Molex. It's a company in like by airport, very close to airport. Okay. What yeah. What do they do? What kind of work is? Uh, it kind of uh, pro 
production is like a part of cars, oh, I trucks, see. small stuff they hmm. manufacture. Uh, and that, so you had some experience in manufacturing? Are you uh, helping them? Not really, not really. Just the, like the orientation, they, they told me how to do this stuff. So it was a kind of simple, basic stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I moved it to Yazda, you know, I'm working in Yazda for F a Full time? Uh, no, part time for now. Basically, we help people uh, who, like, they cannot speak English, read, write in English. Like, basically, is the community who cannot speak English. So we help them, like, apply for a job, uh, fill up applications, uh, uh, pay bills, a lot of this small stuff, copy, fax to DHHS. Mm -hmm. uh, if they need internet with something, so we, we help them with this stuff. Well, when the people came over here, I, basically they have a lot of problems. So they do not know the rules. They do not know the rules and application, a lot of stuff. So we help them with this all, mm -hmm. all stuff. Yeah, it's like uh, if they need to do some application for job or medical application. So we just help them mm -hmm. with this stuff. Uh, it's uh, it's very good. It's very simple. Like to, to get your driving license is very easy. To move is very easy. There is no a lot like a lot of bridges or crowd mm -hmm. or rush hour. So we don't have it. It's it's very good. It's a uh, kind of a little bit closer to our area to Sinjar. We use it to live, and uh, that's why we 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 didn't see a, a lot of stuff after we live for a couple months over here. So like every. Thing is simple but the first couple weeks or even couple months sometimes it's a little bit hard but after that it's it's very easy the, mm -hmm. the city is very easy the movement the people are good we, we have no problem with people like Lutheran and Catholic when mm -hmm. the, the, we came over here for the first three months they a kind of client we become their client so the, the, the helper us to go to appointments they help us to go around to to get enrolled in school or if we have uh, kids less than five years that with daycare and uh, like some other stuff so the first three months that they it was very good they helping us mm -hmm. with application takes take us like Sarah for people need because they, there was a class English as a second language over there so mm -hmm. when people they don't know they help them to go over there show them the way and enroll them over there and some other small stuff even sometimes like coach chairs if they need it so they go to some churches to bring them to their home so they help us special for the first three months uh, you know in august the uh, third uh, 2014 they came to sinjar so at, at that moment we were few families like I'm talking about my relative, my cousin, uncles, and and we we went to northern Iraq directly the first day. We didn't take anything, mm -hmm. just like our clothes and some a little bit of water, and that's it. So right away, we, because we don't have a time, because well, when they reach whoever, they just kill them or kidnap them. So we just scared, and we I have a car at that time. I just put my family all together. So we just run to northern Iraq, and uh, my uncle and his family they went to mountain and they stayed in mountain like 10 days over there with no food no and uh, my aunt and her family they were live in south sinjar and so when they tried to come to mountain before they came to mountain they gashed them like isis captured them mm -hmm. and uh, they kidnapped her three, she has a three sister uh, sorry three daughters the isis took them away in captivity and they stay like they still with um, with ISIS more than a year and then the, her husband and the, the son because he was all uh, more than 18 years old so they killed both of them yeah my uh, my aunt's husband and her son my cousin so and the other three they they captured them and took them to ISIS captivity area Mm -hmm. And they like they do all bad stuff. They sell them, rape, and all that. And then, uh, fortunately, like th they could escape in a way or another. And so, but uh, like the the government over there, they paid them back. Paid them back like uh, each one like ten thousand dollars. 
So uh, after they got home, they gave them 10,000 and to somebody, I don't know who exactly, because there was a kind of secret, the people just mm -hmm. bring them from ISIS area to safe area. So the, the three of them, they are released after that. They are uh, they went to Germany because Germany. there was a, a program in Germany, mm -hmm. that, like the survivor, they could go to Germany. So they apply for that program mm -hmm. and it was like 1,100, the survivor, that they went to Germany. So they all went to Germany in that program specifically. Mm -hmm. So they are living in Germany with, with uh, their, uh, their brother and mom, my aunt. Do you stay in close contact with them? Yes, yes, I, I contact oh. with them. They are from Alaska, but the, you know that he just got killed few weeks, a few days ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Abu Bakr Baghdad, he was Iraqi, right. but Muslim Sunni specifically, mm -hmm. because and basically the ISIS, there are a lot of people from Sunni, Muslim Sunni, they help them. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot ISIS from Sunni, Muslim Sunni, and even the, the people from around the world, they contact them with another, like in a way or another. So they just get them and they fight with them and there was basically a lot of people from Iraq and Syria but mm -hmm. there was some other countries mm -hmm. there was few people for each country mm -hmm. so th they helped them and I think like Qatar and Saudi Arabia they gave them money they help ISIS I think the, the, they focus it in the, because they are not Muslim they don't have a book from somewhere like mm -hmm. they did it and they think we are confident or like bad people so mm -hmm. when they came they just killed people like 3,000 and they kidnapped around three or more than 3,000 mm -hmm. and there is uh, 2,900 uh, 2, they're still in captivity and we don't know anything about them they're still alive or in somewhere in jails or mm -hmm. we don't know anything about basically the, the, the height is it i don't know why just because they are not muslim i think or minority some mm -hmm. ideology mm -hmm. stupid mm -hmm. ideas they have i think No, yeah, uh, even before that, yeah, we know we are Yazidi because we, mm -hmm. when we kids like our parents, they, they teach us how to be Yazidi, how Yazidi doing, like we have a couple level and uh, we have uh, like some our like events and a lot of stuff, we know we are our Yazidi, but just, yeah, because when that happened, they focused in Yazidi, it was really bad. Mm -hmm. And even before that with Christian in Mosul area, they didn't kill them, they just uh, let them to go, leave everything and just go. But when they can do it, they kill them, they kidnap them and the rest, the, the left area. And so even after that, they stolen everything. Uh, I don't think so because the area is still not safe, it's mm -hmm. not good. Mm -hmm. And even uh, like I have a couple family, they still over there, my, my brother, and they, they just live in small tents and the life is not good. It's just mm -hmm. small tent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have, I still have some family over there, cousin, my nephew and my sister and family. So I still have, it's... Are they bad. trying to come to Nebraska mm -hmm. or to the, Germany? They, or? they try, but because of the immigration ban, mm -hmm. so they cannot. Uh, after uh, Mr. Trump's ban, mm -hmm. like two years ago, or something, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. from that it was very slow. It's really slow. Yeah, mm -hmm. I apply for them, but they cannot come over. I think it's like very simple, very mm -hmm. simple to go anywhere. It's very easy, mm -hmm. and uh, we have a lot uh, easy community over here. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, some events like August third and fasting, mm -hmm. uh, Eid, and some other parties like the New Year. And it's mm -hmm. very simple because we I have friends over here. I, I know them a long time. I have couple cousins over here. Mm -hmm. So I think it's. Basically, everything is very easy, I think. We see it's uh, kind of important at uh, three days fasting, like the, the first... Uh, so it's Aid. you follow Aid. you mentioned? Yes, Eid, yeah. Eid. Okay. Yeah, it's oh. just fasting Eid or mm -hmm. festival. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's after uh, December 12th, the, the first uh, Friday after that, so it's going to be our fast Eid. So uh, basically, we fast three days. Mm -hmm. 
and the fourth day is uh, fasting eat mm -hmm. a, fa a festival or something yeah okay festival. I think it's just one of the main uh, day in, in Israeli uh, culture and uh, uh, and like everybody go together, come together, they make party, food, music, so I think it's very good and we do everything because like the kids who born over here or when they were kids when they moved over here, mm -hmm. so I think it's very important for them to learn that we are Israeli, we are different from mm -hmm. the others. It's a, a little bit challenging because as the people, if we didn't teach them, they do not know, like they are teachers, like the, the, the kids for now. So um, it's in our, like we learned in our religion, we cannot marry from the others mm -hmm. and get, or stuff like that. So some of the kids that they, they don't know. Mm -hmm. So this is a kind of challenge and they marry others. So it's a kind of not good. Uh, I, I disagree with that. I, so, because we are religion, like Israeli religion, we want to stay Israeli religion. So, but like after you know, generation after generation, they just change mind or mm -hmm. they see it's okay. But like for me, no, I I, I see it's not okay. Mm -hmm. um, so we are born Israeli, we want to stay Israeli. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. even like you see the other people like Christian, they want to be Christian. Like Muslim, they want to be Muslim. So it's just like that. I, but I think like everybody does like that. I teach them even uh, like simple stuff with their age. So like we are Israeli, that like the, our our language we call it just Kurdish Kurmanji, and uh, we cannot go like marry with the other one if they are a little bit uh, yeah, like older, like 15, 16 years old. We just teach them uh, basic stuff, and this our like three days fast. Mm -hmm. and the fourth day and new year so we, we teach them the basic mm -hmm. uh, idea about EZD. We, we take them over there physically like we have a party and you saw the party it was in the park over there mm -hmm. so we teach them hey, this is our new year we call we call it chasham or like wednesday chasham asur so we teach them and we take them physically to there and even the fast event uh, festival what i mean and uh, the, the, basically this the main two so we take them physically and we teach them uh, even before we, we go over there we teach them oh we're gonna do this 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 and after that uh, like we ask them a simple question hey this is our e this is our new year so th th they, they know from like physically because you know the kids the teenager they know from to see so we teach them that way and even sometimes at home just small stuff uh, I, I think um, it's uh, very easy to, to get over here because uh, we have a lot of like like uh, western what do we call it the middle eastern mm -hmm. uh, shops mm -hmm. or market mm -hmm. what we can do uh, like they have a lot of stuff so we, we we bought and we, we make it at home. I, I think it's not, there is no difficult, big difficulty to get uh, the food. Basically, we just call it kutilk and yaprak, it's like mix it, uh, meat with the other mm -hmm. stuff. So I, 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 this is my two favorite, kutilk and yaprak. And uh, over here, there is a lot of good uh, food, uh, special fish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I love eating fish and mm -hmm. nice pizza. <laughs> 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 and canes, I, I love canes. I, uh, like, as I told you, uh, first couple months, it's really hard to, to live because everything is different, 100% mm -hmm. from there like uh, the life even the, uh, the taxi is like mm -hmm. to get a taxi it's really hard over, but over there no you just go to the street and just mm -hmm. sign your hand and the taxi will, will stop it so it was a little bit hard to get a taxi first couple of weeks mm -hmm. and no like and the other thing is, is is good like special with driving license it's very easy mm -hmm. to get first you know the permit and then driving license 
it is very easy. But I, I think because we have a lot of Israeli community over here, it's a kind of uh, simple to live over here. And, and uh, th that's why w w I love it, uh, this simple ab about, because it was, in Sinjar it's almost the same. So it, it's almost the uh, same simple we have over here. So that's why I didn't see a, a lot of di difficulties.